We start with the war in Ukraine. It has reached Africa, in the country of the Sudan. The capital of Sudan is Khartoum, and Ukrainians and Russians are clashing there. Sounds hard to believe, but it is true. The war in Ukraine has a new battlefield, the Sudan, where Kiev has put boots on the ground. The conflict began in April last year. Kiev entered the picture around August, courtesy this man, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, the de facto military leader of the Sudan, at war with his former friend and ally, who is leading the rebel forces. They're called the RSF. At one point, these rebel forces were gaining the upper hand. Al-Burhan was on weak footing. He needed someone to rescue him. Guess who stepped up? Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, Al-Burhan called up Zelensky for help and Zelensky could not say no because of their history. Al-Burhan has been a friend to Zelensky. When Russia invaded Ukraine, Al-Burhan supplied weapons to Kiev. Look at this photograph. That's a Ukrainian soldier with a Sudanese mortar round. Al-Burhan was helping Zelensky. So when the Sudanese leader sent an SOS, the Ukrainian had to respond. He dispatched commandos from Kiev, nearly 100 of them. Al-Burhan had a narrow escape. Ukraine's forces helped him out, first to get him out of Khartoum, and then ultimately to Port Sudan, which is a city on the Red Sea. It was a safe zone for Al-Burhan. His forces controlled Port Sudan, so that's where he went. Later, he would meet Zelensky. This was in September 2023 at an airport in Ireland. Back then, it was painted as an impromptu meeting where the two leaders discussed Russia-funded armed groups, Russia-funded armed groups, a.k.a. Wagner, the Russian group of mercenaries, a private army sponsored and controlled by the Russian state. Now, Wagner is like a common enemy for Zelensky and Al-Burhan. Wagner mercenaries are fighting in Ukraine. They're also fighting in the Sudan, in both cases against the regime. In the Sudan, they're supporting the rebels. So at that meeting in Ireland, an alliance was born. The Ukrainian commandos stayed back in Khartoum. After saving the general, they conducted multiple missions. And their goals were quite, quite simple. Drive the Sudanese rebels out of Khartoum and fight the Wagner soldiers from Russia. What's in it for Kiev? They've opened a new front with Russia in the hope of draining Russia's military resources and putting a strain on their finances. The Sudan has rich gold reserves. Wagner forces have been smuggling out Sudan's gold. Reports say $4 billion worth of gold is unaccounted for. In 2022, Russia operated 16 flights out of the Sudan. 16 flights. These planes are said to have been used to ship out gold. And Ukraine could be aiming to stop this supply. But while it tries to deplete Russia's resources, this strategy cuts both ways. Does Kiev have the wherewithal to continue this campaign? Earlier, it had a blank check of sorts from the West, an almost unlimited supply of weapons and military equipment, but that's not the case anymore. American aid is stuck, and Europe's efforts to fill the gap are woefully inadequate. Now it turns out that Ukraine has been fighting two wars. So will the West support it? Were they kept in the loop when Ukraine entered the Sudan? Were there funds diverted in this fight, Zelensky may have some explaining to do.